Hey folks, um, this is kind of a follow-up on a video I did several years back uh, regarding my Reebok pumps. So, I've always really been into pumps. I mean, I wanted them as a little kid and I could never get them until I was a teenager and they are on the way out. First pumps I ever got were the Pay Dirt uh, Insta Pump, which was the, like, the pre-season, I think it was supposed to be like a football and basketball. And Either one of them or something like that. Some star at the time who, let's say it was in the Cowboys, who had a customized version. Mine were just the uh, white, black, and teal and purple color scheme, which is an extremely 90s color scheme in retrospect. Because things aren't really colored like that anymore. But anyhow, um, the ones I always really wanted were the Twilight Zone pumps. The yellow, the neon yellow, uh, black, mostly white, but uh, the is neon yellow, black, and uh, bright orange like basketball orange. So um, several years ago I got the reissue from, I don't know, 2010. I maybe got it five years ago. It was already kind of old at that point. Uh, I didn't know they reissued it when it first came out. Or I definitely would have jumped on that. But um, that was uh, this one. So really like this shoe. Um, technically it's slightly different from the real original early 90s because um, the uh, I don't know, collar here was like a little longer on the original one or something like that. I think maybe the tongue stuck out further, but it's a very bright neon yellow and it's got this cool zigzaggy neon yellow and black pattern. And you see the Twilight Zone logo here. And you can tell that this is the reissue because it has a QR code for Reebok, which, uh, of course, nobody ever uh, had a QR code in the 90s, so the bringbacks all have the QR code. And, you know, pump it up, it works. Yep, makes noise and everything. So I was really hyped to get these. I think I wore them outside maybe once or twice, but uh, I've been very careful because I want them to last forever. And then, uh, just now, just recently, they reissued them yet again. And so, of course, I had to order them. So, um, really nice. However, not the same. Uh, first off, you may notice when you look at the tongue here, it does not say Twilight Zone anymore. And actually, on the website, the Reebok.com website, you buy them. There's actually just this TZ pump. I guess they don't have the legal right for the trademark pump or uh, Twilight Zone. So just say TZ pump, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, the other thing I noticed is the colors. Oh, well, check this out. Okay, so first off, see there's like yellow written around Reebok. Not written around Reebok, just, just black. Um, but also the colors are not the same, which is interesting. So, yeah, I wore this outside a couple times. You can see it's a little dirty, but it's not that discolored from dirt or something. And it isn't discolored from age either. Like, this is just a brighter orange color here on the plastic, and the yellow is not as bright. And the same is true of the fabric. Look at that. The new one over here is a darker yellow and also the pattern is changed it's more of like a um, honeycomb thing. it looks kind of like the hexalite actually and actually now that I notice it whoa I didn't even realize that so check this out this is the ERS the energy return system the original one and this is a hexalite wow so this is actually a pretty revised shoe to my surprise. So, would you look at that? There's another thing I just noticed. The pump releases on the other side. These are the same shoe. This is the left shoe. Weird. So if I get out the right shoe of the 2012, which one this bring back is from. The release is on the left side of both of them. 
pin on this one. Look at that. The right shoe has the release on the right, and the left has the release on the left. That's very interesting. Now I'm going to have to check some other shoes. But um, I still, I have to say, I kind of prefer this older 2012 version uh, for a couple of reasons. Um, first, I do like the brighter yellow, neon yellow color. Um, I do think that the brighter orange on the new one is kind of an improvement. I really like the bright orange. Um, I mean, the zigzags are still there, which is good because I, I really like the zigzags. But, um, man, not having the, the Twilight Zone branding is kind of a bummer. It's like, that was the name, man. That was the cool thing. Um, and the ERS, I mean, the ERS is neat to have, like the original. I don't know, I'm surprised. I didn't expect it to be like this. I thought I was just going to compare it and have a slight color difference. I was pretty surprised to discover it's more than just a color difference. And I, I should have been tipped off by the fact that the website just said TZ and not Twilight Zone. But I also got, um, a couple months back, got this, which was the uh, neon cherry, I guess, is the color. And this surprised me too because I expected it to be orange, and it's not. That's definitely a bright red. It looks a little more orange on the camera than it does in real life. But um, this one also has the uh, hexagon and the hexalite on the bottom, and uh, no Twilight Zone on the inside. So these ones are the new TZ pump. They're the same, they're just in different colors. Um, but like I say, the cherry one is definitely red and not orange. Like the orange on the yellow TZ pump like that has a different color, which is interesting. And um, yeah, same deal where the release is on the right on the right side of the tongue and the left on the left side of the tongue. Very interesting. So comparing it to the 2012 Twilight Zone, same differences. So you'll uh, have to excuse how dirty this shoe is. This is an actual, I wear it outside and use it regularly shoe. Um, so this is the uh, sneakers and stuff, SRS. Uh, chocolate brown and green suede shoe um yeah i bought three of these at once on super discount when they were going out of stock at the uh, sns website for a great deal but uh, these are my wearing outside ones so you can see this is for sure got the twilight zone branding uh, part of the reason these are my wear instead of save is because they're technically a half size too small so uh, for me personally, they're a little uncomfortable to wear, but I mean, it's still wearable. But you can see here, uh, ERS, sorry, they're a little dirty. As with the uh, 2012 uh, Yellow Twilight Zone uh, release, is just on the, the left side of both tongues. I have the red, black, and gray ones. Uh, I've worn these outside a little bit too, but not too much. Um, Twilight Zone logo, uh, ERS, and interestingly enough, the releases are both on the left side. So you can definitely tell they are from the same design as my uh, uh, 2012, I think it is, uh, yellow bring back Here's another set one of the more outdoor wary ones uh, these are the spider-man ones the uh, sort of this blue is almost purple uh, with red and black and again ERS um, this little shiny bit here was kind of a neat touch uh, it's not shiny on the other ones like see that's uh, just 
either, I think. But this is on this particular Spider-Man colors, it's, it's definitely shiny. Um, yeah, again, it has the, oh, it doesn't have the Twilight Zone logo. My goodness, there's so many little variations. You can still tell that this is a reissue or bring back or whatever because of the QR code that gives it away. But, uh, releases are both on the left, ERS. This is the gray with uh, blue and black. And uh, this one does have the Twilight Zone logo, ERS on the bottom. And as you would expect, releases are both on the left. So that's pretty interesting. So here's one more thing. Um, these are the Pump Omni Zone 2s. Uh, not a Twilight Zone, Omni Zone. Okay. So um, I have worn, I've, I've had a lot of different uh, Omni Zones and Omni Likes and worn them outside to death, but uh, not these. So you can see here, um, Omnizone 2 Hexalite has this uh, plasticky, zigzaggy thingy here. Um, basketball and Reebok are embroidered, whereas on the Twilight Zone, it's uh, just printed on these uh, ringbacks, these 2012 ringbacks, although it's embroidered on the side here. Um, the Omni Zones embroidered here, but it also has the pump underneath it um, and the Hexalite embroidered on the back. Uh, you can again see these are recent, um, I want to say 2021 or something. Uh, they also have the uh, QR code here dating them. Um, check out the, uh, the pattern on these, this sort of uh, ridged inside cuff thing is pretty cool. Um, actually, I didn't mention that about the Spider-Man Twilight Zones. It has a uh, kind of a diamond shape. The uh, cherry, neon cherry Twilight Zones don't have a shape at all. It's just kind of like furry, like a terry cloth, like a towel. And obviously we got the zigzags on both of the yellow Twilight Zones. And, uh, on the uh, red, gray, black, there's it's just smooth. Uh, this is kind of like yoga pants material. And on the SNS one, it's uh, also different kind of a diamond -y thing, or socks like. But I also have these. These are the Omnizone two, Omnizone twos that I'm wearing lately. Uh, the black green and white. Um, it's got that uh, same kind of texture in here with the like ridges as the cherry. Uh, or this is the orange. I'm sorry. This is the orange uh, Omnizone 2. Both have the ridge. The Omnizone 2 black green and white, and the Omnizone 2 white, orange, and black have the same kind of ridge on the inside, and the same um, uh, plastic, although I will say the netting here, um, the green netting here is a little different than the black on white netting over here, so for what it's worth, um, Hexalite embroidered. Reebok and Bass Hall on the tongue, embroidered. Same thing, embroidered. Oh, also, as I mentioning, releases both on the left. Even more beat up. Ones that I've been wearing all the time. These are the white and really dark navy blue ones. Uh, with like a little tiny bit of yellow accent. Uh, yeah, I've been wearing these to death, as you can no doubt tell. Um, they don't have that ridge in there. They just have 
the uh, sort of sock like material terry cloth maybe no more like sock the other one was terry cloth um the neon cherry twilight zone anyway this is a i know it looks black on camera but i swear it's not it's a very dark blue and i was a little disappointed to discover that because i wanted it to be black um the laces that it came with were crap most of the laces that the new Reeboks come with kind of are thin and sucky, so I replaced them, but these are just black laces, and I don't know if you can tell the difference on the camera, but it is different, and the pump itself is kind of a yellowish, which is the same as the bottom of the shoe. Um, yeah, I actually need to break the plastic off of that, but yeah, these are hexalites. I think that's all the pumps I have at the moment. I have gone through several others. If you are getting the new TZ pumps, um, whether you get the yellow or the neon cherry, note that they have the new embroidered outliner on the Reebok logo. They do not have the Twilight Zone branding. They have hexalites instead of the ERS, the energy return system. And uh, like I say, they are 100% a different color than the original ones. Not the same. Again, I'm not sure how well it shows up, but they are not the same. And this texture around the cuff is different. And I, I think the reason for that is to um, indicate the hexalightness of it because these ones are more this shape on the 2012 ones is more uh, I mean I guess it is sort of a hexagon but it looks like a sharper almost diamond one and this one they're much more pronounced and look more like the hexagon from the hexalite thing and uh, like I say this is definitely a much more orangey orange whereas this is more of a bright red and um, again, this is the new one that does not have the Twilight Zone logo, the 2023. And this is the older, I think it was 2012, uh, which does have the Twilight Zone logo. And uh, it's more, more red, and this is more orange. And again, red, orange. And like I say, this... Uh, Neon Cherry one, again without the Twilight Zone branding and with the embroider on the letter. Again, definitely, I don't care how it looks in the video, it is absolutely red. It's neon red and not orange. This is neon orange, this is neon red. They are not the same color. And I was, again, a little disappointed to be honest because I really was hoping for neon orange. And part of the reason I thought it would be neon orange is because, like, Here's my Omnizone 2 from a couple years ago, and that is 100% orange. And these are not the same color. Like, not. Oh, would you look at that? Actually, this, the, T, the 2023 TZ pump, like, it is using the exact same bottom as the Omnizone 2, now that I look at it. So, I guess you could say that the 2023 TZ pump is uh, like a combination of the old Twilight Zone and the Omni Zone 2. And here's the, this one here is the 2012 Twilight Zone pump with the word Twilight Zone up there and the ERS. And uh, yeah, this one is the 2023 TZ pump with the hexalite. Very surprising, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty surprised. I would sort of prefer it to be orange like the Omni Zone, and I would sort of prefer it to have the Twilight Zone branding and the ERS like the 2012 one does, but I mean, I'm not complaining really, like they're still really nice shoes and I love them and it's great having essentially the shoe that I lusted after as a kid available to me now that I am an adult and have a job and have money <laughs> but uh, if I have to say my favorite my favorite is still going to be the 
the older 2012 version. And you know, maybe the 90s version would be rad too, but I've never had a pair of the 90s one. The only ones that had the 90s were those Pater Instapunks, the uh, pre-season Pater Instapunks. So, these are cool. I did, as a kid, have the LA Gear regulators that were like LA Gear's knockoff of the pump system that they got sued for. I really wanted the bright orange regulators, the ones that are similar to this color. Uh, I did not get those ones. I got the later regulators that uh, I had a, like a what, mostly white with a little bit of red and it was kind of like a slash down the side, like a star shape like a, or a shooting star, like an asteroid or whatever. And then uh, when I destroyed those by running into barbed wire, um, I got a one that was the same model shoe but blue instead. And you know, those are cool and I like them, but uh, I don't think they were as cool as the Reebok ones. One last thing I want to show before I close this off. I did have LA Gear shoes prior to the regulators. I had these ones. This is the Fire High. They did bring these back sort of. 2010 or so, um, but these are the like really high ones and they only brought back the mid fire. Um, so this is an original one from the 90s. Uh, it's definitely been worn a smidge, but not very much. Uh, this yellow twisty thing here is really cool and I'm pretty sure was competing with this sort of fish gill thing on the Twilight Zone phone because I, I think they came out the same year, like I want to say 1990 or maybe 91, um, and you can see there's a lot of similarities in the general design language, and for sure the colors. Uh, this yellow leather here um, is kind of faded, like it was, I swear, the same neon color as like the, the print here on the sole and the uh, logo here. You can also see here that the, the material here, uh, the sort of sock like material here is faded too. Uh, it was definitely neon yellow. It was this color, like the shoelaces and the logo and the, the paint here. It was absolutely neon yellow, very bright. Uh, but I had these as a kid when what I really wanted was these. And um, if you are getting these brand new ones from 2023 uh, I would say the neon is uh, not as bright it is sort of comparable to I mean it's still neon but it's, it's more yellow and less like this has a little green tint to the neon like the same thing with the, the 2012 it's definitely sort of greenish yellow the new 2023 ones are definitely more yellow yellow neon although I will say that one thing that's different about the LA gear design and all that is it doesn't have any orange on it it's just the neon yellow black and white the fire at the mid fire the one that's just called the fire that they did reissue in 2010. Um, like I said, it's not, not as tall on the cuff here. That one, I definitely got the reissue and I wore it until I destroyed it. Um, but it, this part down here where it's white was, it had like red instead, uh, which always bothered me because it seemed like out of the color scheme. But these, uh, they haven't reissued the LA Gear Fire High, this exact model, which was the one I had as a kid. Love these shoes, but not as much as the Twilight Zone uh, neon yellow pump. Like I said, this is my favorite shoe of all time. Um, glad there's a new version of it. It's kind of interesting that it's a hex light now instead of ERS, and the little changes here don't bother me too much. Sort of wish it was the brighter yellow, but I do appreciate the more orangey orange. Here's another thing I just noticed about the 2023 TZ pump bring back. See that in the front? That is not uh, actual stitching. 
that is uh, fake. That's the plastic or nylon or whatever. It's not real rubber, I don't think. I don't think Saul's have been made out of real rubber in a while, but anyway, it's uh, not a string. That is definitely fake. And uh, here's one of my older ones. I forget if this is 2010 or 2012, but you can see here on my Spider-Man one, that is absolutely real string. It is totally stitched in there. That made me look back at my daily wear Omnizone 2s from, I think, this one is 2022, I think. You can see it's also molded fake, not actual string. And here's my 2021 Omnizone 2. Yeah, you can see that's fake in there. I never even noticed that before. Weird. That's kind of a bummer. I mean, it's definitely a drop in quality over the old ones, but it's funny because they did bring back the stitching around the Reebok logo, which I believe was there in the original early 90s. I want to say 1990 was the release of the original Twilight Zone pump, and I, I'm pretty positive it had the extra stitching around there, although it had a much taller tongue. None of the bring back ones have had tongues as tall. Definitely kind of a bummer that that's uh, fake in the front there and not actually stitched. So that's it. That's my pump video for today. Hope you all have a fun time collecting sneakers and wear them. Wear them. Buy extras and wear the extra one. Like, buy them.